Right, well last time I was here and um, we, we had a quick flash through here and into the field um, Ian then told me that that gate and those little steps up there was the original footpath across so <laughs> um, this is going to be the shortest footpath search ever because <laughs> they built houses at the top there and they directed everybody up this lane so that was a public footpath now so here we go for the shortest footpath ever <laughs> that is a cowboy's leg <laughs> Uh, or Indian, I'm not sure. It's part of a toy, a uh, toy figure. The squealer wouldn't get it. The uh, non-motion, give it an 82. Uh, the all metal, oh, really struggling to detect it. Uh, all the non-motion modes were saying, come on, it's not worth picking up, but, oh, well, <laughs> probably a tiny bit of lead. Um, pop metal. Right, I've done one side of the path uh, coming up here right now and as you can see it, it, the path just disappears into this uh, lay land I. <laughs> it's not been used for at least 50, 60 years but I've just got a signal and uh, that looks very interesting. And I've not had one that green before. Now that is green, is green, is green. Right, that's... Uh, beyond me is that one. Maybe a wash would help. A little quick rub on my shirt. That sometimes does the trick. But, uh, yes. It's very, very small. It's about the size of a... Just slightly larger than a, than a farthing. It could well be a farthing. Yeah. Oh, fastener off the cart. Double header here. This squeal here was a piece of iron, fairly large. This squeal here was a, a copper rod tube. Hmm. <laughs> Massive squeal and a 67. <laughs> it's a spoon. A low, a low moan. Uh, so I checked it and it, it was quite a bit undecided, but then it decided it had come in at about a 70 uh, on the motion. It's 1923. Uh, farthing. 1923 Farthing uh, George 5. Uh, they, they're staying pretty good, Nick, with the farthings around here. Yes, 1920. I'm sure that's three. Nice squeal, 73. That came up, I thought, oh, it's the front of a Viking longboat. <laughs> it's just a bit of lead. <laughs> uh, okay, you whiz buffs. Very nice squeal. 95-ish, I think it was, 94-ish. Uh, it's got a screw on it, look. It's bronze. It screws on and it, it looks like I don't know. It's a bit awkward for a door pull. But someone will know what it is. It's quite heavy, must weigh over an ounce. Right, well I've done all this side of the path. Um, either side, found a coin. Down in the bottom there there's a stile over into the next field. That's where I found the farthing. Uh, I've got up past the apple tree there and just up, up into that corner. They're beautiful apples. Everyone around here has got some fabulous apple trees. It's it's really shaded on this side of the valley. But I've got that bit to do. Uh, 
And then, nice. nice squeal, um, mid-70s, I thought, yeah, that was quite nice. Um, the best I can describe this is a, a mutilated copper disc, or a bronze. Um, I thought it was a penny that had been got at, but it, it's larger than a penny and I can't see any, any inscriptions on it. It's nice metal. It's not corroded at all, though. But uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's been in a fight with something. Maybe someone will know. Well, you're a curious little thing. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's old. Uh, nice squeal, 77. Uh, coin balls, look. There we go. Oh no. There we go. Uh, George Five. Nineteen twenty one. George Five half penny. Hey, well, for the shortest path ever, that was quite a nice little hole. <laughs> oh, I'm really disappointed when this turned out to be just lead. I thought it was a Viking longship. <laughs> And another piece here, um, not quite sure what it is, um, the, it, it's, it's broken off here, there's more on the top, but uh, very ornate, and a sheep, <laughs> oh dear, a ram to be more precise, look, and, and it's lost its front leg, oh, oh this piece, <laughs> Okay, I thought this were copper. It looked like copper. It felt like copper. It is, in fact, lead. Look. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, they don't have fool you, don't they? This little thing was... Uh, it's the leg off a cowboy. I remember having one of these when I was a kid. Uh, a toy cowboy riding a horse. Look, see, this, um, this, I think, is um, a hair. It, it's, it goes in your hair, I think, uh, and there's another pin goes with it, a long pin, but uh, but I think you put your hair through this and braid it, ladies that is. Little key there I found under the uh, under the hedge, but the video went blip. This uh, very heavy screw-on stud. Just what for? I don't know. Right, coin-wise, uh, 1921, uh, 1923, George V, half pennies. And funny enough, uh, there's another farthing here. Um, see that nice green patina? It is really awesome. Uh, there we go. Farthing with Britannia, quite nice. And then the creme de la creme. Right at the top of the path, we've got this. Um, uh, <laughs> it's it's a farthing or a half farthing or something like that. Um, I've never seen anything that was so green. It was it was a light, um, the verdigris with the copper. It's obviously copper. See the size of it compared to the ordinary farthing. Um, slightly bigger. Um, well, this is one of the very old ones, uh, George or before. But um, if anyone has any ideas and can glean anything from this, it's been in the ground a long, long time. See the copper coming through? Huh. Anyway, good hunting and uh, this is the little path and then I tried up in the fields uh, higher up to see if I could get the path again. But that's in the next video, so uh, till I see you then, happy hunting.